Hey, what's up, guys? Just an update. I just wanted to let you know that I am still at it. I am moving rather quickly, a lot quicker than I thought I was. Uh, on my days off, I've just been hitting this thing hard. I, it, starting this has lit a fire and a passion, and I just have been wanting to get this thing done. I'm so excited to go over a lot of rework some of the areas that I wasn't really happy with on my original shell. Um, as you can see, this is pretty much the bulk of what I've done so far. I did start the cyclotron here, which I'll, I'll share with you here in a second. But just some details I wanted to share that I reworked and I'm especially proud of is this EDA right here. Uh, on my last show, what kind of bothered me about it is this face right here on the EDA, I didn't have the correct height. I believe it's around two inches and I was probably like a sixteenth of an inch short, maybe a little less than that, but I can notice it because even though I had the EDA disc, the correct size to the screen use packs, since the face was smaller, it made the EDA disc look bigger on my show and it always kind of bothered me. You couldn't really notice it completely, but if you really look at it, you could tell. And I would look at it and I, I was like, I got to rework that on the next one. But also, uh, some of the widths and the heights I got way more accurate this time around. <clears throat> it's pretty spot on here. Uh, I also added some grooves that are on the screen use pack here. And right here, this was another thing on my original shell. I was under the impression originally that the screen use packs, this groove that runs right here, went all the way down. But on the screen use packs, it does not go all the way down. It only goes right here, and then it pretty much thins out right down to the bottom. So I'm glad that I got to go back and also make that more accurate on this. Another thing that I worked is this corner here on the gun mount. On my original shell, I had this bevel a little too thin. On the screen use, it runs about 3 8 width all the way across. And down here where it meets the gun mount and the crank gen, it kind of flares out to about half of an inch. Um, Burke had helped me with that and kind of shared exactly how it works on the screen use pack. So that was a lot of help, and I like this a lot better than uh, what was on my original shell much more accurate here also <clears throat> so yeah I mean we're rolling it's looking amazing I'm so happy with it you don't even know how happy I am with this I want to be done with it um, one mistake another thing that I I messed up on my original shell is as I was working as I was moving from piece to piece I started attaching everything like, for instance, when I had all this done, when I had all this done here, it was already attached. It was glued together, and it was ready to go, and then I moved on to the cyclotron, the sink gen, and then the, the spacer in between. I'm so glad this time around I did not do that. I left everything unattached, and that helps me to go back and rework things, add, take away, to get the right distances I need between every single part. Not that I was overly off on my original shell, but this just helps so much to get it just right, just the way that I want it placed, curved, angled, or whatever. So yeah, if you're building a proton pack out of styrene, or anything else for that matter, you might wanna leave your pieces unattached until you're done, then attach it, then uh, add in all your grooves and smooth everything out afterwards. But you can do it that way too. I mean, it, it worked for me, but it just, I, I found this to be so much easier. So yeah, that's where we're at so far. Once this is attached, this little thing, this, this uh, canal right here will be filled in. So just kind of wanted to share my gun mount with you here. This came out so much better also on this one than my uh, original show. 
What's hard about this piece is on the screen use packs, these edges are really rounded off. They're not very sharp rounded edges. They're very uh, dull rounded edges. I mean, they're really, really rounded. And so I've been trying to get it as close as I can. I still need to work this edge a little bit and round it off. I'll come back to that and work on that. Uh, down here also, it's more rounded out. But as far as specs go, man, this thing is it. But this is how I built it. So you can see, pretty straightforward and simple. I didn't use a whole lot of supports inside. Didn't really feel it was necessary. But then again, I might come back and just add a couple supports in there. But it's pretty solid. Another detail that I wanted to share on the gun mount that I'm so happy I got right this time that I didn't do it on my original shell. I think I just might have missed it. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But on the gun mount, there's a lot of angles going on. So, of course, you have this top angle. So this is where your HGA would be. And you have this angle here. You can kind of see it. Let me square it up to show you. So you have an angle there. And that's just because these this bottom part of the gun mount is, is much... Uh, wider or or should I say higher than the top face of the gun mount so it creates this angle here and also on my original shell this bottom piece of the gun mount also has an angle and the way I did it originally was is this was squared off and I caught it on my old shell I was like what was I thinking did I just miss it I don't know. I can't remember. It was 10 years ago, but this time we got it right. So there is a little bit of an angle to the bottom part of the gun mount, as you can see there. And I'm so happy this time to get it right. Um, also, another angle that I completely missed on the original is this bottom part of the gun mount. So there's also an angle that runs this way on my original shell I also had that squared off and this rib right here on the bottom of the gun mount I had squared off but it actually kind of runs at an angle so we got this right this time so happy with it um, it's awesome very happy with this gun mount but yeah I thought I would share those little details on this this these packs are just weird I just, whenever I do something and I finish it, I go, these things are just weird and they're wonky. But you know what? This is it. This is the finale. This is the oorah shell, my last shell I'm ever going to do. I want to get it right and I want it to be as close to the original shells as possible. So here is, I'm going to move some of this stuff over here. This is my Cyclotron. Now, when you're building a pack, this is probably, if not uh, the hardest part you're going to build. I've seen a lot of builders bypass this. They'll use cake pans or uh, they'll buy a Cyclotron from somebody already cast it because it's just a hard part to build and get right. Uh, next to the crank gen, you know, I don't really know if this is harder or the crank gen's harder. They're both really hard. To me, the crank gen and the cyclotron are the two hardest parts of the proton pack. If you can get past these, you're smooth sailing. But, yep, this pretty much has taken me all day to get this far. Just wanted to show you kind of how I built it. It'd probably be really hard to explain, so I'm just going to show you guys. And if you're into building, I'm sure you can figure it out. This is all 080. There's no uh, 1 8 styrene. I, I built this whole thing with, with 080. But what's hard on this one is getting the right height from the top of the cyclotron to here. It's about two inches. And on my last shell, I didn't really like how I did it uh, when it came to the rounded edge. So I wanted to do something a little bit different on this time. 
So I made my deductions to get it to the to the correct two inch height, and I added. I added this lip here so that I'm going to go back in, or this channel, should I say, I got the measurement right for when the rounded edge starts to where it ends on the face of the cyclotron. And so I have this channel here that I'm going to come back and I'm going to take some 1-1 uh, epoxy putty or sculpting putty and I'm going to fill in this channel with putty and get it all nice and rounded off and then we'll have the perfect rounded edge for our cyclotron that should very closely resemble the screen use packs so yeah i'm very much more happy with how i built it this time around i think the last time i did it i pretty much just went straight up put the cover on filled in the edges with putty underneath and then started rounding off with a dremel tool it worked but this is just going to look so much better to how they did it. I like it. And it's pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to add in the putty to it, get the cyclotron rings uh, cut out and the right size, start putting those on there, and get this thing finished up. But I just wanted to give you guys an update that we are still rocking, we're still rolling, and it's coming out so good, so much better than I expected. Um, my biggest worry coming into this, building this, uh, especially early on, was was I going to be able to top myself? Was I be was I going to be able to top the the first shell I did? And to be honest, I kind of had some discouraging thoughts. I didn't think I could. I thought I was just going to come in here and maybe make it worse. But as far as I've come so far, it is so much better. It's built so much better. It's so much more accurate in the measurements, the heights, everything. And I'm, I'm very thankful to the support I'm getting um, from people that are helping me out. Um, Burkett, especially you, man, you've been helping me out quite a bit, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, my buddy James on G uh, GB Fans, he's uh, J Wills. James, if you're out there, thank you, man. Uh, you've been a great help also, but... We're going to keep moving, moving forward here, keep rocking, keep rolling, and yeah, until the next one, see you guys.